Best ways to finance for a tough month. Due to a series of mis misfortunate events, I, 24 female, will be homeless for a month. I've already signed the lease for a new apartment but can't move in until late February. I have about four grand saved up, but I need half that to pay for my apartment on move-in day. I also have a credit card with $5,000 credit available to me. I make $550 to $650 a week, depending on how many hours we get. I don't have a ton of friends, maybe somewhere I can crash for a night or two here and there, but nowhere has the room for me for a month and a half. Essentially, my question is, how do I go about budgeting this? I sleep in my car to save money, but it is way too cold here, so I'm assuming my best option is a motel, credit, debit, any options I'm missing here. Well, what I would do in this situation, personally, right, is I would look at places near me in terms of pricing in the form of like Airbnbs, hotels, motels. And what's interesting, sometimes I think for Airbnb specifically, you might actually be able to get a discount if you book for multiple days, right? So you might be able to book like a full month with an Airbnb at a very heavily discounted rate, which would be a pretty nice thing. And like, it also just kind of like give you something different. You don't got to go homeless. You don't got to like live in your car, all that kind of stuff, right? You'd be burning through money no matter what. Like the, the sad reality, right? mainly because from what this person is saying, that it's apparently too cold wherever she is, you're going to be burning through money pretty much no matter what. Now, personally, I would be against using credit cards if I didn't need to use it. But... Let's see. So they got 5,000 credit available to her. They have four grand saved up, but I need half that to pay for my apartment on move-in day. So she needs two grand in cash to pay for the apartment. Well, see, this is the thing that kind of worries me about this situation, because can she even afford to really be moving into the apartment that she signed the lease for? I'm kind of worried that she can't really afford it or that it's going to be like half her income. But here's the thing. In her specific situation, if I was going through it, I would be trying to save up as much cash as, cash as possible. I probably would utilize the credit card for the Airbnbs and motels and hotels, mainly because I wouldn't really trust motels. Hotels are also kind of a little bit sketchy. Airbnbs are probably a little bit safer, but I'd probably use the credit card for those situations. But the second I charge it to there, I would personally pay it off. But it all depends on like how much this is actually going to cost you. Like you'd have to like break it down and see. Okay, okay, if I were to get a deal, and if I were to book for like the month or whatever. Could I spend under two grand? And if I can, I would just do that in cash, right? And not even bother using a credit card. Like that's the main thing. You need to have a better understanding. What are the true costs of what you're going to have to deal with? Because that really determines everything. I, if I figure out like, oh yeah, I could book like an Airbnb for the amount of time that I need to basically survive in this place till the move-in day, then I'll just pay everything out of pocket. Or just find a cheaper place, save even more money. Now, for me personally, I'd probably be okay with like living inside like a car or whatever for a few weeks, a month, 
till I moved into the apartment. But again, the thing is, it's like, it's not a good sign that you're going to be homeless. Like, it's just not a good sign, you know? So this person says, I look at an Airbnb for cheap rooms and use this credit card to pay for it to conserve cash. This person says, I used to this. I used to do this whenever I went home during renovations, was able to get decent rooms around $30 to $40 a night. Good luck. Hope it isn't too cold where you're at. But see, again, the problem with this, right? Like they make about 500 to like 600 bucks, whatever per week. Like that's eating a lot into her money, right? This person says, thank you. I'm going to do this. Wow. Her, her, title name, like her account name is Worthless Goddess on Reddit. That's so crazy. Okay. If you want to go the hotel route, search for extended city hotels in your city. Not all the chains are national and a lot of them aren't listed on the big travel sites. They'll generally have enough of a kitchen that you don't have to blow more money eating like you would in a normal motel room. Extended Stay America is usually both cheaper and nicer than a motel. I just checked in my high cost of living city, where most hotels run $130 per night, they're $64 per night. I could book all of February for less than $2,000. So Nesta ES is more expensive around a normal hotel room, but they're basically a studio apartment. Some are actually condos converted to hotels. IHG has a couple of brands with kitchens, Candlewood, Staybridge, some Holiday Inn suites, and you can filter for it on their master website, IHG.com, after you search for an area and a date. Their prices vary a lot, so you'd have to search your area to see if there are any good options. Yeah, so I mean, feel free to give your thoughts on that. To me, I would First, try to figure out how much it's truly going to cost whatever options are out there for the time frame that you would need. Then that would really open up what you can or cannot actually do, right? And also like... I think my biggest issue when I summed upon this, it's like, why are you homeless? Like, has she posted anything else? What? What? This page may contain sensitive or adult content that's not for everyone to view it from your age. What? What, her page is like an adult content thing? Jeez. Okay, guess I'm not checking that thing out. I was just wondering if she was like made any posts about anything else, like, Lord. Hmm. Yeah, if you stumble upon this, feel free to give your thoughts on this. Like to me, I just don't like the idea of her potentially being forced to rely on a credit card to simply survive, because that gets into a pretty bad habit because obviously something is going on where somehow she is homeless, right? Like, is it bad financing, bad money management, life situation just happens? Like, something is going on in her life where that happened. So, is that sort of stuff going to happen again? Is she going to have to deal with being homeless again? Like, that is an issue. Like, I really want her to be able to put herself in a situation where this is never a situation that she has to deal with ever again. Like, never. Like, I don't know. I'm really sad when you think about it.